Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans? We are at home. Uh, we are, you know, still under the, the quarantine, uh, so we're not going out. We're not doing a lot of things. Uh, I've really only been out once. I had to go, we had to go to the grocery store. We were out of a couple things. So uh, I did venture out just a little bit, but uh, it's, it's pretty dead out there. I gotta tell you, it's kind of creepy. So uh, I am completely bored out of my skull. So what better time to do some home improvements? So uh, the wall that's behind me, this green wall right here, uh, we have got, well, we've got a small issue. And that is, let me turn this camera around. This is our issue. Our refrigerator is completely full, 100% of refrigerator magnets. We have run out of refrigerator magnets. We've actually even started on the side here. So um, uh, we have decided to experiment a little bit with, um, magnetic paint. So here it is. It's Rust-Oleum Magnetic Primer. It's going to be kind of like, almost like a chalkboard, kind of like gray, uh, black gray. Um, but it creates a surface that attracts magnets. And then I will transfer all of the uh, refrigerator magnets to the wall. And this wall is two sections. We got this side, and then you'll see the line right there, and then we've got this section over here. So I'm just gonna do this section here. And we're gonna do something else with this side. We're probably gonna keep it the, 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 the green, the big accent color. Um, we were thinking about changing it to a, like a bright orange, but I don't know, I think I, I'm, I'm still digging the green. Um, but we're gonna get rid of this board here. Uh, it was kind of a to-do list, but nobody ever did anything with it. And it was going to hang aprons. However, our garbage can sits right here. And so this is the only one we can utilize because if we do it on this one here, it, you see, it just doesn't, doesn't work. And we also have the kind that you push the pedal down and then it opens up. So, um, so this is going to get moved. And Becky's thinking about doing something with the cricket where she's going to do some kind of a vinyl up here. Um, and this big one here that says today is going to be a great day. We have a, uh, a stairwell right here that leads down. And we have the, the loaves of bread up here. And we're thinking about putting that sign up there. So um, just we got a lot of got a lot of work to do. Um, uh, this will stay here, the, the water, uh, machine. Got to straighten out some of our, uh, of our things here. It says life is a highway. I want to ride it all night long. And let my love open the door. That's, uh, some of our artwork in here. Um, that is not a stack of dishes right there. That is actually a, like a big, large vase. Um, and then we've got our little plug-in smelly can, uh, candle there. Um, so, um, I'm just going to kind of, uh, not, I'm not sure hundred percent what I'm going to do here. I'm thinking of taping it off. So we still have a green border all the way around. You know what I'm saying? And then I, I think that's my what I what I do. I don't know. So Emerson's gonna help me decide that. What am I doing? Uh Emerson is here by the way. Hi Ev! Hi. <laughs> so yes, she's home from school and work and all that good stuff. She Emerson got a new job. I did. Yeah, tell everybody what you do now. I am a dog handler at a dog daycare. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, during the, uh, the coronavirus stuff, normally where they've got, what, like 30 to 50 dogs, yeah. people are staying home so they don't have a necessity for a, like, doggy daycare. Yeah. So there's only like... 11 dogs. Like 11 today. dogs today. So your uh, manager called you up and said, we don't need you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she is one of the, uh, part of the essential units. Yes. Um, but uh, just not today. <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, so Emerson's going to help me paint a little bit, and she's going to be kind of my uh, my guiding light here to kind of guide me in the right directions to see what we can do here. All right, so let's get to work, and I'll show you my plan and see what you think. Okay. So Emerson did agree with me. So we're going to put a um, we're going to leave the green trim around the edge, and then so it, it's it, it'll it'll still blend in with this side of the wall. So. All right, uh, let me tape it up, take these things down, and, uh, and then we'll start painting. And of course, we have the two biggest helpers of all, Kevin. Kevin, hey, hi, how you doing? And we have Miss Fiona. Miss Fiona is going to be a big helper today too, right? Fifi, hi, baby, how you doing? You going to help today? Mm, more like being the way, Dad. <laughs> So I forgot to turn on the camera, and Emerson and I did this first tape line here, um, but it kind of turned into almost like a Laurel and Hardy skit um, because of the fact that we found out when we stand on the bench uh, for the kitchen table, uh, it was meant for sitting, not for standing. I heard a big old pop and crack <laughs> when... I stepped on that corner piece and it's not very well supported over there so uh, we decided to pull this out grab a step stool so now I'll uh, I'll film the rest of uh, putting this up So there is everything framed off um, from ceiling all the way down. So there'll be a nice little green frame all the way around it when we're done. Uh, so let's, uh, let's start painting. Okay, so this is the stuff we're using, the uh, Rust-Oleum Magnetic Primer. Uh, here's the color of it. If you can see, it's almost like it's like just jet black. Uh, which is fine with us. That's that yes. would be awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir this up a little bit. It's uh, it's pretty thick, and I'm guessing is it because it has metal in it? Because <laughs> usually that's what makes magnetizing uh, possible. Okay, so far so good. Um, looks like what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, put a second coat on it. Um, and then, uh, so we're going to let this dry for a little bit and then we'll come right back to it and put the second coat on. So if there is one main piece of advice that I can give you guys uh, while you're, if you, if you use this stuff, ventilation, open some windows. Uh, the kitchen smells like one big huge magic marker. Okay, so it's it's pretty pretty heavy in the air. I have now applied the second coat of paint. Now we just have to let it dry and uh, come back and see if uh, magnets stick to it. So just something kind of funny. Uh, I was using this 
I didn't have a key to open up the, the, pan, uh, the, the paint can. And I did get a little bit of the paint on the, uh, on the um, flathead, uh, but I had wiped it off. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that was the uh, that was the hook and the nail that was holding the big sign up on the wall. Okay, the second coat is now dry. I did go on Rust-Oleum's website uh, and because uh, I went to go reread the directions because I thought I had saw three coats, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. But I had gotten paint on the can, so I uh, went on their website and it indeed says for the best results use three coats uh, with at least 30 minutes of dry time in between each coat so it's been 30 minutes so let me uh, put one more coat on okay I just finished the third coat of paint which is recommended they say the more coats the more uh, magnetic it becomes now if we did want to paint this green again we could uh, but they only recommend one coat of paint. Uh, anything more than that, uh, the paint will be too thick and the magnet, uh, the magnetism won't uh, work. So um, we're going to think hard and heavy about that one, but uh, I think Becky really kind of digs the uh, uh, the black. So we'll see, what it, we'll see how it works. Um, so 30 minutes from now and we'll be able to test it, which means that'll happen in, for you guys, three, two, one. Okay, so uh, the paint is now dry, um, and uh, let's uh, let's test some magnets on it. So the first one, uh, it's just this one that says "Life's an Adventure." Oh, I'm sorry, "Life's Adventure" is waiting out there. So this is kind of like just a regular thin old magnet. Um, so look at that; it does stick. Okay. Next, I got a medium. Uh, size magnet. This one's actually got a little bit of, of weight to it. Sticks. And a heavy magnet. This one's pretty darn heavy. Uh, this is from when we went to uh, Marbella, Spain. Uh, just right before we actually started vlogging. But, alright, so let's... This one's got some weight to... Oh, look at that. Look, look at that. Man, they stick pretty good. All right. Okay, so I'm going to take the um, the tape off and uh, let's see how our frame came out. Oh yeah, look at that. So just getting a shot kind of from the stairs uh, as you first walk in up the stairs this is what you would see I think we're gonna keep it black um, so let me put uh, let me put all the magnets on there and then I'll uh, put the table back into place and uh, we'll get a final look at this thing okay so with the bench back we took every magnet off of the refrigerator now there were still some that were too heavy. Um, I'll show you those in a minute. But we, look at that. We've got that much room. So we still got some traveling to do. So these are the few that we couldn't get up there. <laughs> so Vivian, uh, people were complaining that they don't see you anymore. They're like, oh, where are the kids? Well, we, we know killed them. we killed them. We we keep them in cages down in the basement. No. Yeah. <laughs> so we already talked to Emerson today, and everybody knows now she's got a new job, and she, and she's got the boyfriend and the um, uh, um, the um, college, and then you you've got basically school and plus <laughs> that's about it, and you just. <laughs> You're a homebody. You don't like to go out anymore. I'm an introvert. You are an introvert. Yeah. Okay. So. What can I say? Yeah. So you don't like uh, going out places and 
with us anymore. We're not cool anymore, no, are we? Not. No, you are. No. So how do you like the wall of magnets? I like it. Yeah. Wall of magnets. The wall of magnets. I, I think it came up. I like this one. You like that one? Oh, yeah, that's your uh, your graduation picture. Oh, yeah. You look good in that picture. So, but yeah, they, man, we, we've been to a lot of places. It was nice taking them all down and looking at them. And yeah, just the kind of. that we went on. It's yeah, we so were much fun. reminiscing. <laughs> but yeah, look at it. We got some space for, for more travels. So yeah, once, I think uh, we actually have more magnets. We might. I don't know. I, 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 I don't think that we put all the magnets when we moved into the house. We really? Did. All right. Well, we'll see. I'll take a look we downstairs. We might have to paint this wall. We, we just might. I think this wall should get some of Becky art on it. I do too because well so, I had already said that where we're gonna do that so some vinyl. Yep. All right so uh, so that was the magnet wall so uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed watching that and it's kind of a good review of the company uh, or of the product so we do not endorse we're not endorsing we do not uh, work for DuPont or I mean uh, Rust-Oleum um, so um, and it's Audrey um, Audrey. So, uh, but as always, if you like what you see, give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> down below, and we'll see you guys next time on. Where the heck are the Olivens? Yeah. Bye, everyone.